This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. In this segment, I want to talk about how a group of Mexican mayors has requested that the United States government stop deporting illegal immigrants who have been convicted of serious crimes back to Mexico. They claim it is adding to the already ridiculous level of violence in many of the border towns and cities. The mayor of one border city says that 80,000 Mexicans have been repatriated to his city in the past three years. Of that group, 28,000 have U.S. criminal records, including 7,000 convicted of rape and 2,000 convicted of murder. Let's keep in mind that these criminals illegally crossed the border, having been arrested in the U.S. and convicted and having done their time. They are being deported back over the border only after they've completed their sentence. Now, the mayor of Juarez, Mexico, suggests that we can't keep just bussing them over to the border towns and dropping them off. He recommends instead that we fly each criminal alien back to their hometown, which in many cases will be central or southern Mexico. In general, the Mexican government doesn't think we are doing enough to protect the Mexican citizens. In fact, one highly placed individual suggests that the U.S. shouldn't deport criminals at all since their crimes were in the United States. We should take responsibility for these criminals instead of just dumping them over the border so that they can prey on the poor citizens of the Mexican towns. It is clear to me that the entire country of Mexico has collectively lost their minds. It's bad enough that their countrymen steal across the border in the dead of night, but then they rape our daughters, murder our sons, and steal our worldly belongings. We incarcerate them on our dime, and then, when they're freed, the people of Mexico want us to keep them here. What do we look like? Mexico's personal toilet? I have a simple answer to this problem. Let's up the ante for the criminal aliens and Mexico. If you're an illegal immigrant and you're convicted of a violent crime in this country, you are sentenced to death. That's right, lethal injection. Let's see how many Mexican criminals want to play Russian roulette. Also, Mexico needs to pay up. And the way they should have to pay up, since they're so poor and Mexico is having such a hard time, is guess what we need? We need oil. Great. Mexico, you give us 1,300 barrels of oil, or roughly $100,000, for each instance of a convicted criminal alien. It's time to start playing hardball. It's time to stop listening to the propaganda about the, the poor Mexican immigrant who's come across the border just for a better world. Realize, 7,000 rapists. That's 7,000 of our young people who have been raped. We have to keep in mind that there is that group of people coming across the border with the others. And as long as that's happening, somebody needs to be held accountable. And it's about time we start playing hardball and making sure that we're taking care of our citizens first. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. If you like what you've heard here, go out and pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Also check out our website, pcsfa.com. Until next time, be safe out there.